My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how do you do? Thanksgiving, gobble, gobble. Me too. Gobble, 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 fat turkey I am. I'm not here for living, I'm here for Thanksgiving. Gobble, 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 fat turkey I am. What's in the sports? Jim, and more sports. We had the first big trade of the MLB offseason. Brady Singer, Jonathan India. More importantly, you could have broken the news first. Or Big Daddy Mac did, because Brady Singer's, all of his royal stuff ended up at a thrift shop a couple hours early. I'm very interested in how this went down. Yeah. Did Brady drive these? Did he like, was he like a spiteful, brokenhearted lover? You know the answer Like instead that. of throwing it out the window? I, I, I have it on his wife or significant other being like mad for him. I don't even want to see this stuff and driving it there. Although I know Brady Singer is pissy. He's like one of the mm. angstier guys. I have been saying that for four years. I think the truth lies where you started and he kind of knew he was getting traded this off season, two years left on his contract that yeah, he or whoever he lives with, they were like, Hey, probably getting traded. Why don't we get all this stuff in a box and ready to go? And they found out and it was I ready to go. I hope he saved some, you know, it's memories. It's like jerseys and stuff, but all the like practice stuff, you're not going to wear that again. I guess not. Although that's normally the comfiest stuff though. I know. It's he's like got a, a little bit of anger to him. People in the replies on Twitter were like, hey, what store is this? I want to go. Yeah. It's old guy's old stuff. Kansas City Thrift Shop. Goodwill. The goodwill of themselves. It's a for-profit business, everybody. They just take your garbage and make money off it. Aha! Jim, this is almost a breakdown. Speaking of, the slowest five-hole goal ever, maybe. I'm going to say it's slowest five-hole goal yeah. ever. I'm going to say there's been no slower five-hole goal. There's probably maybe tied. Yeah, this is 27 seconds into Mark andre Fleury's 1,000th game. Of his career. So he's emotional. Yeah. What a long career I've had. Not many guys make it this far. And then our guy, um, Dreisaitl. So I want to do Mark andre Fleury versus Leon Dreisaitl. Oh, okay. Kind of depends what you're about, right? Well. I think I'm a Leon Dreisaitl. I was going to say, if we're dra- grading it on how it sounds, which is usually what we do, right. I think it's a close race. Yes. If we're grading it on looking at it, right. Leon Dreisaitl sucks. 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 If you didn't know how it's spelt. You're like, oh, that's cool. Leon Dreisaitl. When you look at it, it sucks. That's so Marc-Andre Fleury. Marc-Andre Fleury's cool. Oh, let's go to the Louvre. Yeah, so he just dumps it in. It hits the defender's foot. And then two players like try to bat at it and miss it. And then it's on its edge. And the replay from this side on its edge. Fleury wants to hit it to his defenseman so they can counter. It's sliding. It's like a sweeper. He just gets got. He just gets ate up by it on the inside. And there's a really funny shot of Dreisaitl looking like celebrating. And then after he celebrates, he goes, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> you, you scored. I did? Hey, math, Marc-Andre Fleury. Yeah. He'll be able to laugh at this one day. Did they win? I didn't even look. My thousandth game, it goes between my legs. He probably doesn't talk like that. Back to the sports. But first, you know what we all need to get more of? <laughs> Off of our ass. With bold flavors and refreshing citrus kick, Mountain Dew will get you off your ass and have you feeling like you're on an actual mountain. A mountain where the weather is always perfect, your friends are ready to hang, and a day of epic proportions await. We like to drink Mountain Dew when we're in our warehouse, hanging out with all of our friends, playing sports, and having a good time. The mountain is calling. You should answer. Grab your friends. Grab an ice cold Mountain Dew wherever refreshing beverages are sold. And do the do. Jim, more sports. Oh my God, it's kind of right behind you in a way. Maybe one of our best Blitzball battle games ever. Uh, former MLB star Trevor Plouffe, three, two, one, ten. It's like a six, yeah. It's a six. Verse social media star Nikki Cass, three, two, one. Seven and a half. Rolls. A lot of controversy. Oh. Your thoughts. Yeah, this game, it, being in the building, it was a very intense watch. Being on my couch watching it on uh, YouTube, it was hilarious. It is funny how that happens. But yeah, as much controversy as you could have in a single game, and then some really nice pitching and hitting. Peter Moylan making our broadcasters be the replay operators. The edit of him just being in the blender is so funny. I'm, I'm right out. I'm not here. <laughs> Don't ask me to make another decision. I have left the building. Having a bad time. Having such a bad time. It's good stuff. Go watch. Check it out. Baggage. We're back. I'm the hits leader. Oops. This next story is not sports. 
A Lincoln County woman is facing charges for putting a firework under the toilet seat. Toilet seat. Now, I read two different articles where this story was reported because there's just such a desire for more information. And this is all anyone has. Investigators said that a 27-year-old Merrill woman received a suggestion from another man to place an exploding firework under the toilet seat mm. before a 45-year-old Merrill man used the bathroom. When the man sat down on the toilet, the small firework designed to go off when pressure was applied exploded, gave him minor injuries. Where it starts getting interesting to me is the woman is charged with domestic battery. Like I think, oh, that's her husband. Maybe it means they just live together. Three right. roommates. Like it, in some weird fucking way, this could be her dad and her brother said to do it. Right. It could be her husband. And her lover said to do it. There's just a need for more info. The third party, I really had minor like minor injuries. About. What are they? I mean, that could be nothing too. It could just like, be this emotional. Could be clickbait. Like firework toilet, almost anyone's gonna no, click. No, but that. this was a news where the guy, like the newscaster, was telling the story. I saw him. So not just AI articles. He was trying to not smile. Trying not to laugh. The firework exploded when the man sat down. The 27 year old woman faces a domestic battery charge. He has no sympathy for the 45-year-old Merrill man. That makes me worried it's a little bit of a click. That concludes today's episode of The Weekly Dumb. I'm off on vacation to Australia, so the next two eps will be uh, a little different. Maybe. Maybe you won't even notice. Goodbye. Perfect shot. That was The Weekly Dumb. Oh, we put firecrackers in toilets in college. You remember that? That was like Jake's favorite thing to do for like no, two weeks. No, 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 no. You thought yeah. it was really funny. Yeah, I did. I did. We threw one in our toilet and then we Not when people it. were in it. No, no, no. We would pee in it and then it would pop up in our face. We did that once. Did we that we once. put a fire. And then our landlord came. Yeah. Now he sent his guy. He sent his guy. And he, we're like, yeah, the toilets. Um, it's <laughs> it like came a off its moorings. It's basically. like a waterfall. Yeah, it came, it came off the floor. And then the it got a little hop in the basement. You would oh, you flush. There's just a giant leak in the basement. And he's like, he goes down. He sees. It, he's like, whoa! The whole bottom's blown <laughs> out. You guys know what happened? We're like, there was one line where we all looked around and laughed because he's like, yeah, I've seen this before or something. And we were like, whoa. I forgot all about that. You were pretty into it. I was, but you You were into the peeing into it. I just wanted the boomf. You liked getting involved. Yeah, but I never lit it For or me, put it, it down. For me, it wasn't a peeing activity. I would be the guy suggesting or laughing. I never lit it or put it down. You guys love fireworks so much. I would go to the... The, on the drive, I never bought a single firework, but I enjoyed them all the same. We also flushed a full bar of soap down our toilet. I don't know who did that. Mm -hmm. Same guy had to come back. It was like two months later. No, you got a whole bar of soap <laughs> clogged up. How'd that happen? We're like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Must have just been in there. Anything we, can happen uh, yeah. in a world. Dumb college kids playing with the toilet. So this woman, this we need more on this story.